In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a clean and realistic torn paper effect in Canva, perfect for posters, social posts, or any creative layout where you want a ripped look. Let's get started. First, go to the Elements and search for Paper Frame. Head into the Frames and select the one that looks like a torn paper edge. Place this frame at the top of your canvas and increase its size so it covers the entire top section. Now add one more frame, but this time place it at the bottom of the canvas and stretch it to match the top one in size. This gives us the top and bottom torn paper edges. Next, it's time to insert a photo. I'll be using one from my recently used photos. Add the same image into both the top and bottom frames. Then place the full photo directly on the canvas in the middle. Set it behind both frames. Increase its size so it fills the space. Now double click on the top frame image and move it upward to show the top part of the photo. Do the same for the bottom frame. Double click and move the image downward so it shows the bottom part. This way, all three images, top, middle, and bottom, align perfectly and look like one continuous picture. To give the frame sections a more distinct look, we'll change their tone. Select the top frame, click on Edit Photo, then open Duotone. Choose the Custom option. Repeat this for the bottom frame to match the style. This helps make the ripped effect stand out more clearly. Now let's create the actual torn paper illusion. Go back to Elements, search for ripped paper, and switch to the Photos section. Pick a torn piece you like and drag it onto the canvas. Place it between the top frame and the middle image. To make the effect look realistic, send it backwards so it goes behind both frame layers. Adjust its size and position until it blends naturally with the torn edges. If the ripped paper piece is too big, feel free to crop it, duplicate it, and stretch it across the other side to complete the top edge. Now let's do the same for the bottom. Duplicate that same ripped piece, drag it down to the bottom part of the canvas, and again send it behind the frames. Make a few adjustments so it fits smoothly, and you'll have a matching torn paper edge on the bottom too. And that's it. You've just created a clean, eye-catching torn paper effect in Canva. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and check out the other tutorials linked on the end screen. I'll see you in the next one.